is sort of a quick tips beauty video. Um, I have a few of these on my channel under my makeup, my putting on the face playlist. So check that out. I mean, there's a lot of stuff from a long time ago on there, so it's really bad. Um, hopefully this lighting is good for y'all. I'm very excited and I will have more videos to come about the new lighting situation. I uh, just wanted you to, I uh, wanted to do a quick video on eyelashes. I have a video on two minute brows. I've got a video right now on, um, let's see, I think I have a foundation basics video and I've also got a three step wing liner video. So I'm trying to do a few of these kind of sort of easy, um, quick tutorials on um, just makeup application. Mm -hmm. Because, you know, we all have our own routines. We have things that we do quickly. And one of the things that I do very quickly is my um, mascara. And I don't wear fast, false lashes every day, but I sort of have a technique that I use. And even though I know I'm not the only person on YouTube that has this technique, I thought I would go ahead and share it with my viewers, just in case you haven't seen it before. And I kind of came up with this idea because of, uh, you know, out of necessity because eyelashes typically are too long um, whenever I buy them, the, the full lashes are too long. It's also harder for me to apply them the full lash and I don't use tweezers. I've never used tweezers for false lashes so this is something that makes it a little bit easier for me to apply using my technique. Um, and incidentally, I was preparing to do this video and I saw a video just the other day of, um, I think it's Siobhan from uh, Let's Makeup. She actually has a video using almost this exact technique. So what I typically do um, is I always apply my winged liner first. And today's winged liner is a little bit thicker and a little bit more um, extreme than what I typically wear. But when I wear false lashes, I always do a more extreme wing. It's just kind of the lay of the land. The whole point of false lashes is to accentuate your eyelashes. And another way to accentuate your eyelashes is with winged liners. So when you couple the two together, you'd usually get a really great combination. The first thing I'm gonna do is always apply my winged liner. So I've already done that, like you've seen, and then I apply my mascara. I do not apply mascara before or after my false lashes because I like my false lashes to last as long as possible. And if I use mascara after I apply my false lashes, then the mascara is getting all over the lashes and then they don't last as long. Especially because this particular eyelash, this particular mascara that I really, really love with false lashes is the Hypnose Doll Lashes from Lancome. I don't know if this particular um, mascara is going to be discontinued or has been discontinued, but if you can get your hands on it, this mascara is fantastic for glamour pinup lashes. It has this wonderful sort of feathery effect, and I think a lot of that is due to the shape of the brush, which is sort of bulbous at the base and really small at the tip. And I feel like you can get really, really into the lashes kind of can wiggle into the bottom lashes and pull up and it will just feather your natural lashes out. I have had people tell me that they thought that I was wearing false lashes when I was just wearing this mascara, so that says a lot. And then I'll just kind of wiggle it along my bottom lashes. And that in itself is pretty darn good. So I'll see if I can zoom in for you. Kind of sort of see it there. So what I typically do with false lashes is this, I don't know what, what number this is, but these are just some fluttery lashes. A good option for you are Ardell Wispies. Anything that is fatter on or is longer on one end than the other is going to be perfect for this. But these lashes were actually much longer than that. They were this long and they were not necessarily longer on one end. They were longer in the middle. Can you see that? So what I did is I cut them at three quarters. So now, instead of them being a half lash, they are a three quarter lash. And that's what I go for. So, the next thing I'm gonna do is take my Duo Lash Adhesive. I do not use any other kind. This is my favorite lash glue. I'm almost out, so it's gonna be a little trickier. But what I typically do is just squeeze some up through the thing. Oops, some came out, see? 
And then I take my, lash, my lashes and I just hold them the longest part and run them through the glue until there's just a little bead of glue across the whole thing. Okay, so something to, um, to mention about this is that there are a few different options for glue. The glue that I do not use um, from Duo is the kind with the little brush. The kind with the little brush is really great because it applies a very thin line of glue and it's awesome for that purpose. However, it is really hard to remove from the lash afterwards, which means that in order to get multiple uses out of your eyelashes, you actually end up having to use um, to use a lot more of glue like let it cake up and that is just too hard I can't get it. this kind in the tube tends to just peel right off at the end of the day you can use it again and it's just easier to remove later but I like the clear kind I feel like I get a better result from it and because I cut this lash at three quarters it is now felt longer on one end than the other that's what you want for sort of a doll eye which is what I go for on a typical basis on an everyday basis now the next thing I'm going to do is apply these after they've gotten a little tacky. You want to wait for the glue to get a little bit tacky. It's going to be not quite clear, but definitely it's going to be a lot, a lot more translucent than it is now. Right now it's very white, so you're going to wait probably upwards of 20 to 30 seconds. And usually I'll do this, when I'm doing this on a client, I'll just end up doing this like you know, while I'm doing something else. Like I'll, I'll place the lash on the back of my hand with the glue on it and just kind of wait. But once it starts to look a little bit clear, then I'm gonna take my mirror, Let's see if I can do this on camera, this is tough. And this one is longer on, whoops, this one is longer on this end, so I'm gonna put it on this side. So you want it to have that uplifted effect. And then what I do is I just set the lash right at the top. Of my lashes. And then I pat them in at the center. So where the tip, the ends are gonna come out right here at the corner of your wing, and the middle of the lash is gonna blend with the longest lashes at the center of your eye. And now you can see the difference between this eye and this eye. Okay, so now I'm going to do the other side. And I'm going to wait. Don't blow on it if it's a client's. Please don't. Bad hygiene. <laughs> but you can do it if it's your own lash. Make sure you have plenty on the ends. That's where they'll tend to lift up. So make sure your glue is nice and thick on the ends. And this glue dries completely clear, so you will not see them at all pretty soon. one thing I always do is I always tip the lashes down as I'm patting them in so that the glue adheres I tip the lashes down on the very tips you see how that's working now the most important part with lashes make sure that they're not too far down right here if the lashes come below your wing they've come down too low. You do not want that to happen. You want the lashes to stay up and uplifted. Because if they're not uplifted, then they will end up dragging your eye down at the corner instead of lifting them up. The thickness is gonna appear in the center and work towards the middle, but it's gonna appear a lot thicker on the ends. And then, what I like to do just for a little extra oomph, and I don't always do this, just sometimes, I'll take those little pieces I cut off the end. See those little pieces? I'm going to put those on top of the outside edge. And I'll just stack those on the outer edge. I usually keep them up a little higher. It just makes that outer corner extra lush. So hopefully that helped you. 
So if you want to, you can, if you feel like your glue is showing, you can actually take some black eyeliner and go over where you've applied the glue and that will kind of take the shine of the glue away. That's sort of normal stuff. A lot of people do that. Or you can, to blend your own lashes in, I feel like these blend really well with my natural lashes, but to blend your own eyelashes in, you can actually take, wait till the glue is completely dry to do this because you don't want to risk peeling it up on the edges or anything. But take a little eyelash comb, like this one, and just sort of blend them together. Lift your own eyelashes up so that they blend with the, with the false lashes. And if you're somebody who really, really wants more lashes at the interior corner, then by all means do that. But I really, really like the look of the just keeping the lashes towards the outside so that the focus is there. And that's about it. Hopefully you enjoyed that. Hopefully you could see it. I'm really excited about the lighting. And um, let me know if you have any questions. I'm going to be doing more of these quick tips, quick tips type videos. This isn't necessarily a quick video, but it's something that's more focused and it's something that you can refer to if you need help in the future. And hopefully I can keep doing that with um, other things like lipstick application and we'll probably do a blush application. So it's just going to be like little quick videos that deal with one specific part of the face. And I'll be back soon with another tutorial.